up guys you should already know who i am by now and if you don't my name is sharice and this is my channel fine coils welcome and if you're not new welcome back y'all so as you guys have already seen from the title and the thumbnail this video is going to be a killer combo wash and go inspired by the one and only kimberly shirell so I am not gonna waste anybody's time. I know you guys are ready to see what this is and what I'm working with. I got these amazing results from this combo and I was extremely nervous, which you guys will see all throughout the video. So stay tuned. And without further ado, here's that infamous combo. It is Mayel Organics Coil Sculpting Custard and Camille Rose's Curl Maker. So I'm gonna show you the texture of the Coil Sculptor by Mayo. It's really goopy and slimy. Like I hate tipping it like that because it, I feel like it wastes so much product, it makes so much mess, but. Yeah, that's how slimy that is. And the curl creator or curl maker by Camille Rose just kind of looks like snot. Just <laughs> you guys, I made my own sound effects. If you guys like that, you know I'll be here all week. <laughs> so moving right along, I am going to just section off my hair and I made sure this time to leave my hair soaking wet, although it doesn't look like that. Hello, high porosity. I'm just gonna section off my hair and start in this little back section because I don't want this stuff running down my face and all over me. My robe is already wet enough. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Camille Rose's coil sculpting um, custard, about that much, and apply that to the section first. Look at this moth, y'all. It's just so ghetto, oh my goodness. Anyway, Sheila, <laughs> just gonna apply the Mayo to this section. Make sure the entire section is saturated and comb it through with my fingers. I'm already starting to see some of the coil definition pop, so I guess this sculpt in my coils. And onto the Curl Maker by Camille Rose. We're gonna just layer that right on top. And I did test these products to make sure that they mix well and they don't beat up. And they mix well, From at least from what I could see, it mixes well. And y'all know I love to do my shingle method. It gives me the most definition. And surprisingly, I am actually getting some definition here. This combo is reminding me of another combo where I use Kinky Curly's um, Curl Custard. It's real runny just like this and it gives you kind of like separated curls and soft hold. So this is the vibes that this is kind of, this mix is kind of giving me. So I probably will get definition, but just not any hold which in some cases is good, but some cases is not so good. I mean, like I said, look at my strands. They're separated, but they're defined. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out my whole head. I'm not gonna lie, there were parts of my hair where I felt like, yeah, this is gonna be a complete fail but you guys just continue and watch. I'm gonna finish off this section and then I will skip to the very end so that you guys can see the finished look. And I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different. Today is Sunday, so I'm gonna let you guys see my hair um, throughout the days to see if this actually you know, lasts for a couple days, see how many days of a wash and go I actually get. So stay tuned, y'all. See you in a bit. Yes, y'all, so 
Kimberly, again. Kimberly! You need to come out with your own line or something now, because, girl, you got these combos down to... You, you got it, okay? You got it. I was extremely nervous. My hair was slipping and sliding and gliding all over the place. If you guys are looking for a killer combo that has a lot of slip, this is the one, okay? You guys should have already seen. I used the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey Coil Scope and Custard in the deep definition. That's what that looks like. And I showed you guys in the video. It's really runny and watery. Almost like the main choices um, gels, but more so kind of like if you've ever tried As I Am's um, curl gel or curling jelly, I think it's called, or um, um, Kinky Curly's custard, that's kind of how this is. It's really runny. I don't want to pour it into the cap because it makes a whole lot of mess that I'm just not ready for. So I did my leave-in, which was As I Am's double butter cream and then I used the main choices growth oil on top of that then I used this and then I used this on top of that now these two are almost the same almost this is just a little bit thicker but once you rub it into your hands and start to work it into your hair it gets about as loose as this it's it's not as you see it's not falling like the other one or running it's actually a little bit thicker so this one is actually a little bit um, thicker than that other gel but hey so that's where so as you can see that's why I got so much slip. To be honest with you guys, I did not think my hair was going to dry. Um, yesterday, my hair kind of wasn't dry. This is um, day three, day three, and it's still in certain places, kind of wet or just really slimy or I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It just, if you've ever used either of these things, you would know what I'm talking about. It almost feels like I have oil on my hair, which I do, but not a lot of oil, like not a lot at all. But either way it goes, um, I did get a little bit of flaking. Um, it's really hard to see because it's like clear little flakes. Just a very small amount of flaking. And if I get my pick, one second. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but you kind of see it on my pick. But it's not really, but it's not really showing in my hair. That's a, a whole different red fuzzy, but it looks like it is, but that's really the light hitting it. That's not, because when I shake my head, when I touch my hair, which I do all the time, I'm not seeing any flaking or falling out or anything like that. Um, it's just when I look at my pick is when I see the residue. So, um, Kimberly Sherelle, you, you did your thing on this one, girl. You did your thing. Um, I love this wash and go. I, for my type of hair, it gave me a lot of volume and it doesn't look like it, but I do have definition. It almost fooled me at first and I thought that it was frizz because of how separated um, my hair is. I'm not used to this, I'm used to, I'm used to my hair kind of clumping, um, but it kind of gave me that separated look. Um, and the way I knew that it wasn't frizz, it well, that's frizz, but the way I know it's not frizz is it's actually curled. Like there's actual definition on it. So um, I give this killer combo, I would say I give it probably maybe an eight out of 10 only because I don't like dealing with oil slime. Um, but I got definition, I got volume, I got hold, light hold, which I'm not used to. I don't really like light hold because I get frizz very easily having fine strands and living in Florida where it's humid. Um, However, 
it's like as it got humid it's like it activated the products in my hair again I, maybe that's why my hair still feels wet because it's kind of humid um and it's kind of like making my hair kind of feel almost a little dewy but it looks good it's nice and big and voluminous it moves it's not hard or stiff at all and like i said this is day three here i did my hair uh, two days ago in the morning so I had time to dry I went to work yesterday in the building um, my hair was like this all day I slept on it twice all I did was put a cap on wake up in the morning shake my hair out kind of pick it a little bit so I definitely like this combo I definitely will be trying again um, this combo kind of reminds me of a combo that I did before I made my YouTube channel um, I will definitely probably within the next couple weeks I'll um show you guys what that combo was but it's I think you guys are gonna be shocked but my hair kind of it gave me these kind of results so um I do want to see how many days I can get out of this like I said we on day three so we will definitely see how many days I get out of this um but I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys definitely try this out. Um, and I've been talking with my husband a little bit. I plan on doing a giveaway very soon. I have 64 subscribers or 65 subscribers if I'm not mistaken. I just wanna get to 100. If I can get 100 subscribers, the second that I hit 100, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, I'm gonna do a giveaway for my subbies and you will have to participate by liking commenting on this video on youtube um and there'll be a couple of other things to do i will pick a i'll pick maybe three winners one one or two that are local and then the other one i'll mail it out to you we'll see how it goes you guys comment your thoughts and ideas um in the comment section below give me some ideas on how i should do this giveaway exactly um yeah make sure you like comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching um also stay tuned for the clips that are coming it's gonna be my hair throughout the week love you guys so much see ya